Okay, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our morning availabilities here. We are joined by Kyle Bush, driving the number 18 Snickers Toyota. He's currently fifth in points, 36 out of the lead. Nine career wins here at Texas, including a sweep in April, Nationwide Series, and the Sprint Cup Series where he won from the Coors Light Pole. Kyle, if you can open up talking about coming back to Texas and your outlook on this weekend. Yeah, it uh, certainly went well for us here earlier this year, and um, we made it a lot of fun. So uh, looking forward to being able to do that here again and try to have a repeat performance of those successful races. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, a lot can happen throughout the weekend, and uh, it all starts right here, unloading off the truck and, um, you know, having a fast race car and looking forward to getting back behind the wheel of the Snickers Camry and um, also the Monster Energy Camry in the Nationwide Series. And, my Toyota Care truck, so, um, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's Texas. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go ahead and open up for questions. <clears throat> Please start with your name and affiliation. We'll start with Jeff here. Jeff Gluck from USA Today. Um, I know for the first part of the chase, you weren't looking at the points at all. The last couple of weeks, have you taken a peek at it to see where you are, and do you think that you still have a shot of, of getting in it? Um, I won't lie. Yeah, I peeked at it, but um, you know, it. Um, I don't know. It's it's a little disappointing the way we ran at Martinsville. We certainly um, didn't hope for that. Obviously, we have run well there in the past, and I think that's the first time I finished out of the top five in a few times of going there. So that was frustrating for us. And uh, we tried something new, tried something different. It just didn't quite work for us. And once we kind of got cycled back on on strategy I, I couldn't make it to the front far enough to um, be able to run by myself I kept getting boxed in behind a couple guys and would ruin my tires basically just running too hard so had a bad weekend there and um, you know lost a lot of points that we that we made back up so uh, it's certainly going to be a lot tougher now than maybe what it had been and obviously we're going to have to have some luck on our side and the other guys aren't going to be able to have luck, luck on their side but uh, if you have bad luck on the, with the front two, then that's going to bring five guys back into it, I feel like, you know, so it's going to be a, an even tighter race, but, um, you know, that's what the fans want to see, probably the media wants to see, and um, what I want to see, but, um, you know, I bet you the front two don't. Wolfgang Munzer from Germany, Rennsport Press Agency. Kyle, you're running beside Sprint Cup also in the two other race series here. Despite there are two different kind of cars, is there any advantage when you go on sprint car racing on Sunday? You have maybe more track time on the racetrack? Yeah, you get more track time. I mean, the trucks are so different, and we run under the lights with the trucks that, um, you know, just getting accustomed to the racetrack and feeling the way the, the vehicles react to the rubber being laid down. Uh, last night was was pretty interesting. Normally, truck practice never lays down that much rubber, but there was a lot of rubber that got laid down and changed the characteristics of the vehicles a lot. So uh, I expect a lot of that here today as well, too, with as many cars are here and uh, as many laps are going to be run putting rubber down on the racetrack. So it's going to change quite a bit. But uh, we'll see how it goes, and um, you know, hopefully we've, we've got the right setup that we need for um, you know, a successful weekend. Hey, Kyle. Carlos Mendez, Forward Star Telegram. Uh, when you look back to April, does a moment like that keep you optimistic even during a tough stretch or two the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, it can. I mean, we certainly know we can do it. Uh, we've done it here before, and uh, just this spring was, was pretty awesome to be able to get it done because, you know, it was the first race of the Gen 6 car here, and, um, you know, of course, I've had many successful days in the Nationwide Series here. So just like to continue on that and uh, keep that going. You know, I feel like we've... We've run really well this year. We've been fast. We've been consistent. We've we've done a good job. Um, I screwed up big time at Kansas, and um, we didn't quite get the car the way we needed to for Martinsville, and we suffered there a little bit. And man, you get you get two bad races, and, and you're done. You know, you don't have that option here anymore in the chase for as much as those guys up front are running well. You just you can't you can't have any of those. So. Um, you know, we've got to be on top of our game and come out here, and the best we can do is lead all the laps and, and win the races in these final three and see where the points stack up. And um, if we do that and we still don't win it, we did our job. But uh, if, if we don't do that, then essentially we didn't do our job. But, um, you know, we still got to be able to run as best as we can and, um, and try to make up ground and, and see where it all lies. 
hollycanenascar.com. Kyle, there have been seasons where you've had fabulous regular seasons and then gotten into the chase and not done as well as you would like to. Looking at this year's chase overall, do you feel like you've made some good progress? I mean, this has been a far better cha uh, chase in terms of at least the ranking and, and staying in contention than you've had in the past. Yeah, it certainly has. I mean, that's... Um you know, it's beneficial. Last year we, we ran really well in the chase, but we weren't a chase car. Um, so that was frustrating. But, uh, you know, we knew we can do it. We proved to ourselves we can do it. And we come out here this year and we were able to to follow up on last year's success. And um, like I said, barring Kansas, I think we've done a really nice job. And, you know, we, um, knock on wood, there wasn't a, a big one at Talladega that didn't didn't get any, but any, any championship contenders, really. But, um, you know, that's... That's where you try to make up ground when you can. Is some of those, some of those guys have a bad day and you don't. That's when you make up big ground and nobody really did anything. It was just a little bit of swap here or there. Um, but other than that, just um, you know, yeah, we, we've run a lot better this year than years past. That's for certain. But um, <laughs> apparently, there's still a lot more room for improvement. We'll go over to Marty and then the middle of the room. Marty Smith, ESPN. Hey, Kyle. How would you describe? what Johnson and Ken's that they're doing right now, like their battle? It's it's awesome to see. I mean, certainly it's um, it's pretty impressive because, you know, they both are running top five every single week and they're running around each other every single week. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a dogfight for sure. And um, it's interesting to watch and, and see because you you look for, for one of them to feel the pressure and, and stumble a little bit, but uh, so far they haven't. So uh, it's you come to places like Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead, and um, I think two of the five guys that you look at winning those races are the two top guys that are going for the points championship right now. So um, it's uh, it's mano y mano here for the next three. All right, we're going to go Dustin, Lewis, and John, and then Kyle needs to get out for practice. <clears throat> Dustin Long, Motor Racing Network. You got a test at, uh, at Homestead this week, uh, first time. We're essentially with the, the Gen 6 car on that track. Is there anything that much different? Uh, what were the challenges, or, or was it just like uh, any, just like the previous car there? Or what, anything different? No, everything was really, really close to last year's stuff. Uh, very similar. Um, you know, the the track seems to have aged a little bit more, and maybe the tire compound could use a little bit of help to be better there, just because we've run the same one I think now three or four years. But um, you know, it's the tire compound's fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, definitely a lot of grip for the first few laps, and then it really tapers off, and then everybody's running up right next to the fence. So uh, I think that's what we saw years past. And, you know, as it did get darker, the, s the track seemed to widen out. It's just during the day when it's hot out and it's slick out, there's the best you can do is just to run right next to the wall. But um, as the nighttime came, you could start moving around a little bit more. So it's definitely still a racy joint, but, um, you know, track temperature is very inducive to, to that. Lewis Frank Speed Week. Um, earlier, Matt Kenseth uh, talked about learning to work with Jason Radcliffe, and I was wondering, do, do Jason and, and Dave Wilson, do they, do they, Dave Rogers, excuse me, Dave, different, well, old, old Toyota, uh, do they, do they talk to each other? Do, uh, do they share uh, notes, and how much do you get from that? Yeah, Dave and Jason are probably, um, I mean, in my opinion, they're one of the two closest crew chiefs in the garage area, just from the resources that they've had and the time that they've spent working with each other in the Nationwide Series. They they were at uh, JGR Nationwide since, I want to say, 06 or something like that. And, um, you know, they, they turned that program from not really winning many races to winning races and winning a ton of races, you know. So uh, those two together, they've worked a lot over the years in, in sharing notes and communicating and having offices right next to each other. And um, Dave made the jump over first to the cup side, obviously. Jason followed a couple years later, but um, I don't think any of that communication's ever died down. I mean, they're, they're still fierce workers. They work each other uh, competitively because, uh, you know, they each try to burn as much midnight oil as they can, but, uh, you know, they're, they're really smart and do work together quite often. All right, we'll wrap up with John. John Sturbin, RacingToday.com. Kyle, you're, you're racing in all three series this weekend, and as far as the truck series goes, was that your original plan, or is it because you're trying to close in on Thor Sport for the manufacturer's title and you feel you, you need to be the guy to do that? No, it was our original plan. We haven't changed, uh, we haven't changed our plan at all yet this year, so 
Um, you know, I, I enjoy running all three. I do run all three, typically any chance that the schedule permits. So, um, you know, this year we've, we've been back to sort of normal, I'd say. You know, you run 10 or 12 truck races and you run about 25 nationwide races. And, of course, the cup schedule, and that seems to be um, the norm for me, you know. So um, it's it's good to be back in, in all three and, um, you know, good to be starting the truck here in Texas tonight. Hopefully we've got a good one and we can um, finish better than that 88 bunch and try to gain on them a little bit more here this week in, in Phoenix and Homestead and see if we can't uh, win the owner's championship in both truck and nationwide and see if we can't continue to close on the cup stuff too. All right. Thanks a lot for your time, Kyle. No Good Thank luck you. this weekend.